Hey everyone, we are looking at the Mint Rush of VMPX. It's an ERC20 token that is on the Ethereum blockchain. And minting of this token is going to start in about three minutes. We're going to see what happens here right now, three minutes before uh, minting gas price via ultrasound money here is at 33. We're going to see what happens when the minting begins. Okay, we're back and the countdown is getting very close here. It says it's starting right now. So uh, we now have the beginning of the first block with uh, VMPX. And we're going to see if there is a change in the price of gas as the VMPX takes place here. We are a couple minutes in and we're definitely seeing a trend in way rising here from 32 to 58 it's uh, approaching double it's kind of jumping here in each block and now we're up to 65 so this trend has been rising as a uh, demand for ethereum comes into uh, by this uh, vmpx mint rush and so we are seeing the gas prices jump about here it was five, here it was seven. So we're seeing now about nine uh, jump on this particular um, block. Very interesting. All right, we've now seen gas prices go from the uh, prices almost four times what they were when, when this process started. And the trend now is jumping by uh, here we are jumping 13 here, and here we jumped uh, 15 Guay in this last uh, block. Each block about 12 seconds. And here we jump, jumped about 16 Guay. We're up to 148 Guay. We've now jumped up to 160 Guay. Uh, this is jumping at about 12 per block right now. That's uh, it's quite a bit. Last weekend, Guay was around 12, and we're now uh, at 160. So that's a that's pretty pretty dang high for Guay. We go over here and we see how much would it cost to mint say a full 39,000 in Guay, and there's a little. Uh, uh, thing that you can do here to mint this it would tell uh, the gas cost to do that and there is also a gas estimator that's available we see the first peak in Guay prices here at 177 went from 161 jumped to 177 and now prices of Guay are starting to uh, back off a little bit here the launch of VMPX has definitely been an interesting process here. Uh, we saw prices jump from the 30s all the way up to 177. Now they've kind of backed down to 134, which is still a very significant amount of Guay, which is going to cause significant amount of ether in gas. All right, we are checking in on the VMPX launch, and it has been one hour now. Gas prices have dropped back down to 79 from that high peak of 177. So starting about 30, Guay prices jumped all the way to 177, and now are back down to 73 one hour in. In terms of VMPX, there is 108 million VMPX tokens available. 2% have been minted here, about 2.8 million out of the 108 million tokens. So this is taking quite a bit longer than uh, originally thought. 2% uh, per hour, uh, that is gonna put them at 50 hours if the current rate continues and um, or that, that's a couple days. So originally it was thought to be an eight hour mint rush 
has now uh, started out rather slowly, so it's going to be interesting to see if this speed picks up over time or whether, um, you know, exactly how this plays out. As gas prices drop, I would suspect that the uh, number of mints may rise. And right now we're seeing uh, gas prices again at 73. So this is going to be interesting to see. And now we're down to uh, 65. So prices are getting more uh, normalized, which I would suspect would then push this uh, percentage a little higher. We're going to monitor it and see what happens. Just a quick note, but none of this is financial advice, and this is for entertainment purposes only. All right, we are coming in on the second hour of the VMPX burn and free mint. And uh, this is gas is now at uh, under 60 pretty consistently here for the last uh, few minutes. And uh, we are two hours into the event. Right now, the VMPX amount minted in this mint rush is over 5 million tokens out of this 108 million. 5% after two hours. So it is going slow. Um, there is still 95% to be minted. And the gas prices have dropped all the way down here below 60. So remember, we started at 30, we jumped up to 177, and now we are below six, well, we're, we're around 60, I guess. So very interesting. We're gonna keep an eye on this and check in again. We are approaching the third hour now since we began the uh, mint rush of VMPX, and gas has been running here between this uh, 55 and 65 now for quite a while. Um, it seems to be kind of settling in on those prices. In terms of the amount of VMPX that has burned so far, it's about 7% after three hours. Um, it's seemingly running, say, around 2.5%. Per hour. So if the rate stays the same, that would be a total of a 40 hour burn uh, before this completes at 100%. So we're uh, looking at uh, a day and a half at least of time before this is going to be uh, burnt out, burned up. So uh, that puts it very interesting because the uh, to have this uh, gas price stay this high for a day and a half will be a surprise. I think uh, gas will move lower as, as this day goes on, would be my guess. It has been uh, going lower ever since it peaked at 177. Started around 30, uh, went up to um, earlier when I checked in real early this morning, a uh, couple hours before the event, it was gas was around 23, then it, about the time that VMPX launched, it was around 30, and now it jumped all the way up to 177 and is now back to uh, 60 on this uh, third hour of the VMPX mint rush. So stay tuned, we're gonna monitor this one as it goes. All right, it's 4.40 p.m. East uh, Pacific Standard Time. We are running at 17% of the total VMPX that is available. Uh, gas price currently is at 42, and that is where we are as of 4.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 17%. So obviously, this is gonna take a while, and gas prices have been dropping steadily. So this is good news. Looks like we're gonna be able to mint some BMPX, not financial advice, just entertainment only, but it's looking pretty good that we're going to be able to have the opportunity to mint some BMPX at a reasonable gas price. Cool. All right, we are at seven hours in and we're at 20%. So just kind of multiplying out here, if we go seven times five, we're 35 hours till the end of this part. So here we are, 108 million max supply, and we've 
issued 21 million through this minting process. Here we are with the gas. It is 42, so prices have definitely dropped from the original from 177 down to 42, 41, 40. Here we even had a 39. Things are looking pretty good for a mint on this going projecting. I'm digging it. All right, it's 7:21 p.m. PST, and we are at 26% VMPX minted, and the gas prices are at 41.36. Looking very good. Okay, here we are, 13 hours in, and 37% of the VMPX has been minted. 40 million VMPX has been minted out of 108 million total. And Guay is now sitting between 45 and 50, roughly here. Maybe call it 55 just to be safe. And it is July 4th at 1120 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So this is a little less than 50% has been uh, generated. So it looks like it's going to take another day or so to mint out this VMPX. And uh, this has been a very interesting day of the mint rush. Now, Again, Guay started at 30, went up to 177, dropped down to the 60s for quite a while, and now we're hitting these PM hours, and the price of Guay is kind of trending a little bit lower, it looks like right now, 44 in this last block, so we'll see where things go. All right, we have a 22-hour check-in here. We see that gas prices are around the 50s, and the amount of VMPX that has been burned, minted so far, is 57%. 62 million uh, VMPX tokens have been issued out of the total 108. We're going to keep watching this and see where things go. We are coming in on a total of 26 hours of VMPX being minted here. 70 million or 64 percent has been minted so far. Uh, Guay prices have been stuck here in the 50s most of the day. <clears throat> I have not seen prices of Guay drop below 40. Uh, it's possible they did during the night, but um, these are the prices I've seen for most of the, the time. And so we'll see. We've got another uh, looks like we're at two-thirds of the way through this, so another third. We're looking at another eight hours, possibly. As, if Guay prices drop, I do expect this to accelerate, but uh, thus far they've been holding pretty steady in this range, so we'll just have to monitor and see what's happening. Here we have a graph of the Guay prices, and we see that prices just before the VMPX, we're down here as a 13 Guay, 17 Guay, and then all of a sudden it shot up here. This was this uh, spike, went all the way up to 177 here, and then uh, pulled back all the way back down to just below, it looks like it just hit 38.8 here, and then pushed back higher, and it has been fading the last a little bit here. That's very interesting on the seeing it graphically. Here we can see in the last five minutes that VMPX has been leading the burn leaderboard at 4.2 ETH, followed by all of the Uniswap transactions. We can shift this from the five minute time frame to the one hour and see that VMPX leads there. And we can go to the one day and see that VMPX leads um, that leaderboard as well. All uh, very interesting stuff. Here, if we come over here to the VMPX site, uh, we can see refreshing once again uh, as we're 
looking at 67% of the mint taking place, 72 million uh, so far. And that is our update for VMPX. All right, we are at 36 hours. And in terms of VMPX, we're at 86%. So it is 9.15 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on the 5th of July. And we see GUI prices are still jumping between the 50s and the 60s. So uh, the pressure has not been let up from the uh, price of gas to do transactions. And we're going to keep monitoring this, but uh, we are approaching the last 14% of this uh, mint out been very steady in terms of gas prices. We'll see how it trends as the night goes on. All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, documentary on VMPX and the minting of it. Uh, we stand at 87%. Guay is solidly here at 55. And I'm going to call this one a wrap. We've got 13 more percent, but uh, um, I'm saying we're done at this point. We've definitely had a very good documentary of what was going to happen with VMPX. And so thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks.